so e explain to me why we're sitting on the runway here in the, in the, in the front row of this airplane in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Um, well, uh, we've had a five-year battle to get slots um, out of New York to fly to San Francisco uh, and to Los Angeles. Um, the uh, major airlines stopped us getting them, uh, and it was only actually when American Airlines went bust that we managed to um, get, get some slots. I think the smile on your face is pretty revealing. I mean, you, you like this. You like breaking down barriers. Uh, we, yeah, we, we, we love breaking down barriers, and that's what Virgin's all about. Um, one of the kids back there just said to me, uh, we're united to slay, slay, slay Goliath or slay a dragon. And uh, the modern day David versus Goliath is, is uh, trying to bring some competition to, you know, big company. You've done pretty well for yourself. There is Virgin Atlantic, there's Virgin American, there's Virgin Mobile, there's Virgin Finance. I mean, there was, there was Virgin Records, which you founded, Virgin Megastores, Virgin Galactic. I'm sure I'm leaving out, like, you know, virgin cocktail wieners or something. There's something I'm leaving out here. But you you still consider yourself the underdog? We are, in, in each of the sectors that we're in, uh, we, you know, we, we're obviously, if you take Virgin America, <coughs> we're, we're a minnow compared to uh, a United or an American or a Delta. So, um, you know, so what we have to do is make, you know, as, as happened today, we've just been voted the best airline in America. Uh, United was voted the worst. Uh, we, we have to always be the best. Do you think you would, your companies would have this success if you were not so public? Um, you're so out there. I mean, you're a very, very public figure. People see you on TV, you know, on a hot air balloon. They read about you on Twitter. They read your blogs. They just see you all over the place. Without you, could Virgin be as successful? Um, I think that in, in, in the building of a company, it's very important to have somebody who's willing to you know, CNN wants to do an interview, you say yes, you don't say no. Um, um, Very wise decision, by uh, the way. Of course. <laughs> Let me ask about space travel for a second in, in Virgin Galactic, because it, it was just another test flight last week of Spaceship Two. Uh, your goal is by 2014, you have to, to put people up in space who are willing to pay some $200,000 a ticket. Private space travel by 2014. Still realistic? Yeah, I think uh, by the end of this year, uh, our new spaceship will, will have done a number of flights into space. So it's very, very close. And then I think the first quarter of next year will be up and away. Um, so uh, yeah, so I've been talking about it for a number of years. We're finally, we're, we're almost finally there. One day we're going to be able to take you from New York to Australia in, in an hour and a half. Um, you know, there's, there, there's an enormously exciting things in the future. And if you want to go to Mars, maybe a one trip, one, one way trip to Mars. <laughs> Good frequent flyer miles to Mars, I understand. Yeah, no, it's, it's very good miles. I think you'll be able to fly on any Virgin plane for the rest of your life. <laughs> you were in the news uh, in an interesting way uh, last winter. It had to do with Marissa Meyer uh, of Yahoo. When she stopped the policy of allowing uh, her employees to work from home, you said you found that decision perplexing. You said it was backwards to no longer let your employees work from home. I just think this was a mistake, um, and, and particularly as a female CEO, um, you know, she should realize that for most mums, um, uh, uh, you know, it, they, they, they can't sort of bring their child into work and have them in a, in a playpen at work. Um, working at home may be their only option. What are the biggest challenges right now to doing business in this economy, particularly in the U.S. and in Europe? I, I think that companies like Virgin have just got to get out there and, and expand in this, in, in, in this kind of economy. So even during the cutbacks, even with austerity? Even, even more so. I think, it, you know, if, if if we, you know, freeze like a rabbit in headlights and don't, you know, don't expand, then, you know, there's no chance of the economy coming out. I mean, what, what, what you need is companies who've got uh, resources to get out there, be innovative, uh, you know, expand their airlines, expand their spaceship companies, you know, and, and take on new people. I, on Facebook, I asked if, if, if people uh, had any questions for you. Yeah. And the question was, you know, what's the single piece of advice you would give to a budding entrepreneur? Um, well, I'm assuming that they've, they've come up with a good idea um, and that they feel that that idea can make a difference to other people's lives, uh, a real difference. And if, they, if they've done that, then they've, they, they've got the gem of, of, of a business. Um, and then just surround yourself with you know, people that are better than you and, 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 um, and get on. And uh, my, my slogan I often use is screw it, just do it and get, get on with it. And uh, good luck.